tragic aftermath of a deadly crash in Valley Village. That car sheared a fire hydrant, then down power lines, which fell right into that water. Two women were electrocuted, both good Samaritans who tried to help that driver. They wound up losing their lives. And that Ariola is live at the scene in Valley Village with more for us. And that good morning. Good morning, Michael. You said it. Just an absolute tragedy. Authorities say that these two women had nothing but the best intentions in helping the victim of that crash. Take a look behind me. This is all that's left of the scene of the accident right here at the intersection of Magnolia and Ben Avenue. The Department of Water and Power was out here all night long and have roped off the entire uh, the entire corner. This all happened last night around 8.30 p.m. when a man driving a white SUV ran into a light pole and a fire hydrant and it ended up in the front lawn of a house. The fire hydrant burst. The, uh, the wires then came into contact with the pool of water. One of the female victims was a neighbor who rushed out to help after hearing the crash. The other one was driving with her husband, also got out to help. When the women touched the water, that's when they both got electrocuted. Here is how one witness describes the scene. Well, I heard a, about a, a skid of a car doing at least 50 miles an hour plus, about three seconds long, and then a very loud boom. And uh, I run outside and across the street, and um, I see two women laying on the sidewalk. I got here about 15 seconds after it happened, and I see uh, two or three young gentlemen uh, kept trying to rescue them and pull them to safety. And each, each time they would try to pull them, they were getting shot. Yeah, aside from the two fatalities, at least six people were injured and five were taken to the hospital. Uh, authorities say that this is really the perfect reminder for everyone out there that in an emergency, the best thing to do is to dial 911. We want to come out here back live at the scene of the crash. You can see a couple of candles already here at the intersection of Magnolia and Ben. Some flowers also being laid for those two victims. We just